dog one is dog five okay dog two is dog seven dog three is dog two <laughs> yeah we did an update for this application the inverse f noise and we stuffed it up so now we tried to fix it so the main change was that it's now working mainly in javascript so it should be faster stronger not stronger but faster and using your your own electricity instead of my server I also added the generate button you can download the data from here yeah you can download the plot as uh, image pretty sure you can get the data as well I have to anyway it's all the plotly functionality in there you can select the type of noise hit generate it's noise, so there's random component in it, obviously. Yeah, I have to still check. So inverse noise, inverse f noise should uh, look like, well, not a bit, not quite like that. This could be. It still looks a lot like EEG in the time domain, the frequency domain. It's not quite textbook, but. Uh, pretty sure it's still accurate like it has the elements of an infer inverse f noise so also there's a whole description at the bottom by the way the reason we're doing inverse f noise is because it's uh, very similar to eeg baseline so you can probably guess where we are going with this we'll be updating our eeg generation tools well, be adding some sort of play button that will keep uh, continuously generating the waveform I was scrolling through the screen or I'm probably just updating like this one so there will be a play button probably change the speed and it will be updating those charts they have noise in them this one can be uh, doing some sort of activation eventually would be gearing towards mimicking uh, epileptic seizures as well by essentially adjusting those uh, parameters there's not much to EEG it's essentially amplitude and frequency yes there are interactions between channels so on and so forth but we'll start with uh, one channel and yes this too is also already available right and now it's yeah looks like we want it and the inverse f should be the default yeah so that will look more like baseline eeg yeah so we have some blogs on the topic as well the diagnostic limits of eeg go check it out yes we are writing everything with the uh, AI with LLM but yeah this one I need to fix because it's loading forever there is a lot of uh, a backend so all the data there's a large data file in the backend first it probably doesn't have to be that large uh, second we would like to move as much as possible to the front end also so you have the access to the code and actually for most things we don't actually need a fancy backends at all so so this will be work in progress this one will be loading for quite a while as well let me know if you have done something similar i'd love to collaborate this one has all sorts of problems this is another reason why synthetic data is so much better you can have more control over it so let's do a quick uh, overview of the website we'll get the robot to help us with this we are going to be doing coding later so we are developing this website and we will be improving it later on but for now just give a big picture overview of uh, what's on the site and its relevance what why does it say can't access the website directly it's a bit odd being a bit lazy stop being lazy 
just the longer response with all the tools available on. Okay, now it's talking. Okay, can you provide more details and a description of each tool? I don't think you're actually browsing the site. Does this website has a site map XML? Yes, but can you check the URL? Stop being lazy. Okay, this uh, coherence is working. IG2, a spectrum, the noise, a music. So up and running. Return of development mode in Cloudflare. I uh, want we'll see if this eventually will become faster because it will be that data file will be loaded to the CDN or not. I don't know. It's meant to be interactive, so let me know if there's any questions and if you have checked this site. Uh, currently, we made a lot of improvement to the EEG tools that are using this large data file. Uh, we now have it in a static folder. It's about 1.8 uh, gigabyte. We should be able to handle it pretty easily. We only need loading 10 minutes out of it. So we should probably cut it somewhere. Yeah, let's hit Control F5 to refresh. Yeah, I'm trying to get into image processing as well. So this is an example of a feature extraction and how different uh, detector algorithms are working in comparison to one another. So the sheep, the Massey and Harris in this case are producing something useful. And probably very similar. Yeah, just the the labels are different. Should probably have a button of placing all the labels at once. Yeah, the fast algorithm in this case is not producing great result. What's up with that? Yeah, there is something there. Anyway, let me know if there are any questions or if you used any of those tools. There's currently people keep asking if you can upload the data, so not directly on this side because this side directly literally connected to my machine. So whatever you upload on the side, if you manage, they should not be able to. <laughs> but if you manage, it goes directly onto my working machine, which is also my server, which is also my streaming. So, but if you want me to look at something, we actually have a list uh, in the buried in and the about section the resources of all the uh, repositories that you could use to share your own data a uh, physionet zenodo fixture a uh, kaggle works as well you can place anything you like in there send me the link I'll have a look at the data because it has to be essentially public domain so if we go public EG or something. Yeah, well, like, well, that license is very permissive. It's just public domain. A Creative Commons zero four is fine. It's attribution required. That's the license that I use as well for my stuff. So might be looking at these data sets. This is actually a new uh, University of Pennsylvania uh, data set. IEG data. Yeah, it should be this one here. Yeah, because it's uh, an implant from a dog's implanted with a recording device. And you should be able to just download the data. I'm pretty sure originally there were more uh, subjects. There were about five. Yeah, annotations are really important. Just view the files here. No, download it. But yes, download just works uh, without the... Uh, so we have channel, we have those map files, and I'm pretty sure originally they were different files. Yeah, those are the very large files. It's data for uh, each channel, they have no viewer on the site. The original site actually did have a viewer, but it would be really slow. And why are those, what was the original 2011? Yeah, that's like right, uh, gory images. 
Yes, that's uh, an example of the recorded seizure. Yeah, I did remember correctly, there were more than three or like six animals. That, that is only from three. Dog one is dog five. Okay. Dog two is dog seven. Dog three is dog two. <laughs> okay. No. A number of detected seizures, only one. It's a bit confusing, isn't it? Um, so dog one is five. There's only one seizure detected. Dog two is seven. Seven is not even there. Uh, yeah. The main problem with this, <laughs> this fix is. So now I don't trust this table. There's no dog seven. Well, now we know there was seven. Dog one is dog five. So is it this one or something else? Dog three is dog two. So this one has 18 seizures. We can check that 18 number. They have different number of leads. And it's not. Uh, each lead right so that means so each lead will be eight electrodes does it mean it's not even pure for anything metadata at graphs yeah I'm not even entirely sure if it's the same data wait using Europace mentioning Neurovista yeah because this is the Neurovista we don't, uh, we don't want to take a closer look at that image but anyway i was just saying yeah you can upload your data to any of those repositories send me the link and bob's your uncle in the meantime go check the website should be helping the project this way and i'll see you in a bit bye